arms to have sat in this chair or felt inspired to do so. Um, this video is quickly going to be a quick look. That's the lock. Um, a quick look at this Epiphone made in USA casino. Um, I, I love Epiphone guitars. I, I, the only thing that I've struggled with is the headstock. So as soon as I've seen the headstock, was like that. Um, I thought I'd give it a go, give it a punt. <clears throat> I've just basically um, sold an amp to pay for this. So, like most players, you know, we have a reverb fund and we move stuff around, don't we? Um, and this came up. This is a this has got demo stamped on the back of the headstock. Um, so this was bought from the Gibson Guitar Shop UK. So it was their demo guitar that they used and took around with them. Um, it's got the nickel covers. Which is what I wanted. I actually asked them. I said, "What? How come on the new ones is black plastic? Why is this nickel?" Apparently, the first ones had nickel, so I know this is an early model. I've not really looked too much at the serial number. Um, it feels great. Um, I'm at a stage in my playing now where I don't lie to myself anymore. If the first couple of notes don't hit me um, really, really quickly. I don't bother kidding myself. I don't bother telling myself, oh, this is, this is the best thing ever. I, I, if it's not, it's not. This, as soon as I plugged it in, hit me real hard. You know, the tone I really wanted. It feels really comfortable. It's small and it has the hollow body honk that I love. Um, it, it's the tw it feels like more compressed this way. I think, I don't know if the scale length is short or it's set at the neck different, but it definitely feels like if you wanted to access the higher frets and shred, it's gonna be a bit difficult. Um, but if you just, you know, if you're not bothered about getting all, all the way up there, it's perfect. It's got a beautiful airy acoustic tone to it that comes through the electric tone. Uh, I'm not going to waffle on too much. The pots on this are just incredible. Um, they work all the way through. That was one of the things that used to gripe me about some of these, even the mate, you know, inspired by um, line that they did. The pots kind of went from zero to hero really quickly and the in-between was quite difficult to find this this works all the way through you can do the woman tone thing and you can bring it on and you know you can smash those up a higher um, frequencies when you open a right up um, the volume and, and tone pots are really really responsive and the pickups are just fucking incredible um, good pickups and a good amp that's the ticket everything else is secondary tone wood and all that wank is it's there, but you know, the, the the engine is your pickups and your amp, which leads me on to the amp. The amp I'll be using today is this Tweed Princeton clone. I'll probably try and add some B roll in and be clever. I ain't got time to do the big videos like you used to. Um, it's this Tweed Princeton clone. This thing is the most honest amp I've owned. You see the vibro boy over here, it, that's there's no getting away from that clean tone, but this thing is just magical. It's got a volume and tone. Um, which the volume does what it wants <laughs> and the power button doesn't work on it and, it and it's fucking hick you know it's kind of a bit beat up and it was made I got it from a guy called Robin Wood Robin Wood on eBay um, who makes stuff from old stuff so all the parts are collected and made I've just dressed it up in the way I like to dress it up and yeah I'll just be going straight into the amp so what you hear with a little bit of reverb sorry coming from the holy grail so what you hear will just be honest guitar tones. Um, I'm not going to do a roll through the pots video on this. I'll probably do that coming, going forward. Um, I'm just going to play a bit, man, um, and kind of get lost in the tones. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera. You know, life's got really busy for me in the background. I'm sure you don't hear all that shit, but um, I'm inspired to play again. I'm slowly rebuilding my stuff back up to play. And um, it feels good to be sat here in front of the camera again. So if you've made it this far, thank you. And uh, let's get into the tones. It's a Richard from Fret Drums. Subscribe. <laughs>